my name is viraj and my topic for today's presentation is hack tech technology my id number is 20cs0889 so let us begin so first of all these are the contents of this presentation first we will see what is haptic what is haptic technology then haptic feedback or haptic information then we will see types of feedback and types of haptic devices actual working of the haptic technology and lastly applications of haptic technology so let's start first of all uh, when you heard the word haptic the first question comes to your mind is what is haptic so it is uh, it comes from the greek verb haptos like which means to contact or to touch now haptic technology adds the consciousness of touch and feeling to computers and the haptic is often associated with active touch to communicate or recognize objects now what is haptic technology so haptic technology is also known as kinesthetic communication or 3d touch it refers to any technology that can create an experience of touch by applying forces vibrations or motions to the users haptic technology Uh, facilitate investigation of how to human sense of touch works by allowing the creation of controlled haptic virtual objects now uh, you all have seen the iron man movies in which you have seen uh, tony stark uh, using uh, haptic technology now we will see haptic feedback or haptic information so haptic technology is actualized through various kinds of associations with the haptic gadget speaking with the control system So haptic feedback or haptic information that is provided by the system is a combination of two types of information. First is tactile feedback, and second is kinesthetic feedback. So first we will see what is tactile feedback. So it is referred as the information obtained by the sensors when it comes in contact with the skin of human body. Uh, for example, with the sense of touch. Now we will see kinesthetic feedback. so what is kinesthetic feedback so it is a haptic technology uh, which is related to awareness of the position and movement of the parts of the body via some sensory organs it also refers to the information acquired by the sensors in the joint and muscles it allows a person to feel the force or the pressure or the torque uh, exercised upon contact with the body through the receptors now uh, we will see types of haptic devices so basically there are two types of haptic devices one is active haptic devices and second is passive haptic devices now first we will see what is a uh, active haptic device so the devices that are controlled by the computer that supply tactile or force feedback to the user through electronic electric or a mechanical means are called active haptic devices now we'll see these devices are equipped with actuators that actively generates the force for example force feedback devices like uh, phantom or cyber glass now we will see what is a passive passive haptic devices so uh, passive haptic devices are human controlled and these devices are equipped with passive actuators which generate torques only against its motion for example virtual reality tele robotic based devices such as gloves and wearable devices exoskeletons etc now we will see how does the haptic technology work so as you can see in this picture first the input can be a touch or a press on the capacitive buttons on the touch screen and it it will later on send it to the touch screen controller now the the sensors sense the change in amount of force applied to the uh, the device and sends it to the processor now the information uh, that is for further process generating a waveform it could be either in analog or digital which acts as an input to the driver circuit and specific instructions are given to the actuator to generate a pattern that creates a vibration now this feedback from actuator which is given back to the uh, touch screen and device acts as a force feedback 
the user uh, thus the user will feel a force feedback for chilling and this is how the haptic technology works now we will see the applications of haptic technology that uh, in in what kind of fields or domains haptic technology is used so first yeah of course it, it is used in the gaming industry uh, widely for video gaming then second is medical applications uh, which make use of haptic interfaces which are designed for medical simulation which helps in remote surgery and virtual medical training the third one is it is used in military applications which includes training in virtual reality environments you know to uh, train your uh, milit militants fourth one is haptic technology uh, finds its diverse application in the field of entertainment arts uh, and design robot design and control neuroscience psychophysics mathematical modeling simulation and that's all uh, thank you